Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. It is your boy TwinPlays, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to import your avatar into Roblox Studio. Um, if you're new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. It means so much to me. Um, this is kind of a simple tutorial. Um, it might be a little confusing for some of you. Um, but I'm just going to say simple because it's going to be using plugins. Um, if you haven't used plugins before, it's very simple to get and uh, buy everything like that. Um, but I'm going to leave about like maybe five or six plugins in the description on importing your Roblox avatar to Studio. Now, um, of course, the biggest plugin out there right now is Load Character Pro. It is a very simple plugin, and um, you literally just type in your name, and it will literally do it for you. Um, so this is a great plugin. If you do want to buy it, I recommend it. It's a simple plugin. Um, it's a great, great, great developer who made it. Um, very safe, everything like that. Um, and it gives you everything. So, you know, asset IDs, all of that, humanoid descriptions, everything you need uh, to import your character. Um, so as you can tell, that is one simple way of doing it. Um, another simple way is we have the C uh, CFS uh, avatar suite. Um, this one, I'm pretty sure, is uh, a little different. Um, but yeah, so if I just hit as, uh, this one's whatever, um, you can just search your username. I'm pretty sure you have to pay for this one as well. Um, which I'm going to get to the free ones in a second, but uh, very simple and you can do R15 and it loads in perfectly. Um, so yeah, as you can tell, this one's a little more skinnier. So this is kind of probably my avatar in Roblox, but um, this one's really nice because you can actually do a lot of stuff like catalog browser and they have like um, things you can do. So if I want to like remove things or buy things, things like that is very, very nice. Um, and then of course there's like different preferences with this, uh, this plugin. So it's actually really cool, but, um, a free one that you can use is this one made by 2D girls can't break cards. <laughs> um, so, uh, actually it's, uh, super easy to use as well. I'm going to install this just real quick to show you guys. Um, but, uh, yes, allow this injection for to work. Yep. So now I'll go back. Thank you for downloading. Um, awesome. So you can just go right here type in your name um and uh, i think you just go like this and allow total outfits 34 oh whoa this is cool we will just import one of them oh oh it's importing all of them whoa okay yeah i have never seen this one before that is that is pretty cool okay so it just got all of my outfits actually which was pretty cool so that was my christmas outfit um, so as you can tell, that one's cool. So yeah, this actually gives you a bunch of outfits. Um, I'm pretty sure they also have the humanoid description and everything. Yeah. Well, that's awesome to know. So, um, yeah, that's good to know. So yeah, so this one works perfect as well. Um, yeah, so that's just one of them. Uh, as you can tell, I just thought, I didn't, that's pretty cool. I never thought about that. And of course, guys, if you ever just need to manage your plugins and turn off some, you can just go right into here. Super easy to do. Um, so like I will go turn off this one of course because I don't need it anymore um, But yeah, so now that I have that is this data dwell. Oh, yeah, I don't know why I have all these freaking plugins enabled. Uh, let me just do that <laughs> um, But yeah, so very nice as you can tell I just use that um, But so if I like I said guys if I go into plugins, sorry my, my things kind of in the way um, And I just search up avatar loader um, Avatar editor there's things like this. There's a free one right here um, there's a bunch of free ones. The thing is you do want to make sure that um, You do want to make sure that uh, You basically can like import it and it gives you the humanoid description and it gives you the right asset IDs for that uh, Mainly just because the fact that uh, Like you want to be able to use this for an avatar game or things like that um, Personally my recommendation. I actually really do like the CFS one. I'm pretty sure it's expensive though I don't know how much it is. I, I have to see. I don't know why. I, I got it for free, of course. But um, uh, it's it's very nice to use because uh, this one has like avatar editor, things like that. So you can actually just like make avatars like very fast, very easily, um, which is nice. But yeah, so just a little simple tutorial. I just want to show you guys uh, some things like that because I think some people are a little confused. Um, like I said, if you want to make sure this works with the avatar, uh, editor, uh, like the game, uh, sorry, avatar alpha game, uh, I recommend using that one. I just showed you that I'll leave in the description is this player outfits in one. So it's really nice, but yeah, you guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.